Hello, good people. Today, I will show you two simple slide animations and design ideas that you can use for any PowerPoint presentation. These look professional and can help you to engage your audience. Let's see how to create these. Open a blank slide and go to Format Background. Select Picture Fill and insert a suitable picture. Decrease the brightness of the image by 35%. Now insert a rectangle over the slide area. Create three more copies by holding Ctrl, Shift, and dragging. Select all the rectangles and press Ctrl and G to group them. Drag the grouped object to cover the full slide area. Then press Ctrl, Shift, and G to ungroup the rectangles. Now insert texts into all the rectangles like the video. After adding the text, insert a line object between the first two rectangles. Format the object using gradient fill. Delete the middle two gradient bars and select a white color for the last bar also. Use the values shown on the screen to adjust the transparency, position, and width of the object. Change the gradient direction to radial. Now select it and press Ctrl, Shift, and drag to create two more copies of the same. Place them between second and third rectangles and third and fourth rectangles. Now select all the rectangles and format them with no outline. Change the fill of the rectangles to slide background fill. Group the first rectangles, line object and texts first using Ctrl and G. Follow the same for the others. Once done, go to the selection pane and number the group object in the proper sequence. For the first rectangle and grouped items, I have used one. For the second rectangles and grouped items, I have used two. Follow the same for the third and fourth rectangles. Then change the sequence of the grouped objects in the selection pane. Now select all the grouped objects. Go to Animation, select Fly In Animation. From the Effect option, select from the left. Change the duration to 1.5 seconds. After that, go to the Animation pane and rearrange the animation sequence from 1 to 4. Change the Start trigger to On Click for all of them. Select All and right-click and select Effect Options. Add a smooth end with one second duration. The slide should be ready now with animation. Enjoy the slideshow. Now for the second slide, open a new PowerPoint file. In a blank slide, insert a rectangular shape. Create a copy of the holding shift, control, and drag with the mouse. Create two more copies of the same. Select all the shapes and press Ctrl and G to group them. Drag the grouped shape to cover the whole slide area. From the Format option, select No Outline. Press Ctrl, Shift, and G to ungroup them. Now select the first rectangle and format it with a color. Do the same for the rest of the shapes. Add relevant icons from the PowerPoint icon tab. I have prepared the text already, which I have added here under the icons. Now create a duplicate of the slide. Delete all the text and icons. Add letters in each of the shape and format them with your favorite font and appropriate size. Once done, select all the rectangles, copy and paste them on the first slide. Position them to cover the whole slide area. Now go to Animation and go to the More Exit Animation option. From there, select the Whip Animation. Go to the animation pane and change the trigger to on click for all the animations. 
While all the animations are selected in the animation pane, right click and go to the effect options. Under the animate text option, select all at once. Now for all the shapes, select add animation and select fade animation. These are entrance effects. Delete the second slide. Pest analysis slide is ready now. If you enjoyed the tutorial, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more useful content. Thank you for watching.